Whoa, there goes my horse. Hey everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. We just defeated Team Skull again and now we're headed back to the Aether Foundation. We're home. We brought Young Goose with us too. There he goes. Well, what's going on in here? Kita, I'm sorry. I can't even make myself smile right now. But why? What happened? Miss Lily. She's gone. Oh, great. Several hours earlier. You people. Not gonna disappear this time, huh? Seems like maybe the tall tales we heard about you were wrong. That was different. Nebby and I were both in trouble. That was the only reason why it used its power, so we could both escape with our lives. Why would you tell them that? I know that I'm not capable of much myself, but I will not make it use that power again. I'm determined to not let that happen. That's why, this time I'll do whatever I can on my own, even if I do find myself in trouble again. Yo, girl, you know you're in trouble right now, dumb spoiled little princess. It's fine. There's nothing more for us to take from you. Which reminds me... Maybe we're not the only ones around here who could be called Pokemon thieves. Is that what you are, huh? A thief? Please, there's no need to hurt anyone else here. I will go with you willingly, whatever you want. The Plumeria lady came back as soon as Acerola had left. What? I'm supposed to be a trainer, but when it came down to it, Lily had to protect me. Lily, who's not even a trainer to begin with. Yes, this does seem like it's all your fault. Did I hear that right? It was Lily who took Cosmog. You know where Lily is? And you all are so useless and weak that now Cosmog is... Lily is... Ugh. I'll show you how angry you make me. Yes, let's waste time having a Pokemon battle when we could be going after Lily. That seems like a really brilliant idea. I was kind of thinking that I was going to beat the Grand Trial soon... But I guess we got to do the Team Skull thing first. So maybe after that we'll get to uh, beat the Grand Trial. Stomp. Does he have a new Pokemon or did he always have three? I knew it was that weird type null thing. But I thought last time he might have only had two. I can't remember. Sneasel, yeah, that's new. Well, I got that steel move. Might as well use it. Wrecked. Here's this Frankenstein thing. Well, I'm assuming it's dark. Ooh, good job, Eddie Murphy. He's just gonna, he might be able to just take this whole battle. He's... <laughs> oh, you're annoyed? You look pretty devastated. That was wrong of me. I shouldn't have dragged you into a meaningless battle like that. Yeah, see, I, that's what I said. But I told you both. I told you that Cosmog would bring disaster to all of Alola. I have to get it back from them. We'll leave from the ferry terminal. You're coming with me whether you like it or not, so the only question is are you ready to come now or not? Sure, let's go. Why not? Ah, Oranguru was like, Burr? It's a little disturbing. Also, I love how he's just like, yeah, you are you don't have a choice. Hmm, so we're waiting for how. <sighs> I guess. 
Yeah, I guess so. He's a pretty interesting kid, I'll give you that. Growing up in the Great Kahuna's shadow and still trying to stand up to Hala as an equal? I couldn't do it. Oh, Eeyore's back. Officer Nanu? If only Team Skull could have just kept themselves and their trouble making to Po Town. Why they have to make all this fuss? You there, girl. I'm an island kahuna, you know. Battle against me. Be a good experience for you if you're really hoping to master the island challenge. Okay. Don't take it too serious now. So is he the kahuna of this island for real? Or is he just, like, an older kahuna or like a retired one? Rude. Don't be doing that. You're just gonna raise his defense. No! How dare you flinch. You're a giant horse. The thing is like smaller than your foot. I like this jolly music going on in the background. Not really that fitting, but okay. Oh, I want one! I want it! <laughs> How does he know Earthquake and Eddie Murphy doesn't? That shouldn't do too much, though, because it's ground. Poor Eddie Murphy is just taking a beating lately. That's what happens when you're in the front of the party, you know? Mermaid Man, alright. Moonblast! Yeah, that's a fairy move. Ooh. Alright. So, I feel like... I guess we'll get rid of Hyper Voice for Moonblast. So that Mermaid Man can get that stab bonus. Miss Sass. Persian. Is it Alolan Persian? Yes. Poor Alolan Persian. Alolan Meowth looks really cool, but Alolan Persian looks like a pancake with legs. Oh, come on now. Stop flinching, man. You gotta stop doing that. Ugh! Rage. Oh, a Z move, huh? Well. Ah, uh, that one. Alright. I mean, you can do that, but I have five other Pokemon. Whoa, there goes my horse! <laughs> that just looks so ridiculous. Alright, Mermaid Man. Try out your new move, buddy. Goodbye, Persian. <laughs> so, does this count, or...? Oh, I made him smile. Ugh. Well, shoot. Of course, I already knew you had the heart and the strength to storm Team Skull's stronghold. But I didn't know you were this good. Your Pokémon worked real hard for you. Let me fix your team up. Thank you. This is yours. Groundium Z, maybe? What is that? Oh, so that does count as the grand trial. Well, that's good. Ah, dark type, okay. Well, that's something I don't want to do. <laughs> Galadian's like, what the hell? Is he stuck that way now? Oh. 
there, congratulations or whatever. Officially finished your ULA -ula trials. Yes! <laughs> Making progress. Got somewhere else to be, don't you? Try not to destroy the whole place. And you, boy, Gladian, tell me. If you're really trying to get stronger as you say, then what are you dependent on Team Skull for? That's a good point. They do kind of suck. Don't you dare say a word about this being fun. I won't. If I'd been stronger, then Lily wouldn't have... I'm ready to do whatever it takes so that we can take back our smiles and our fun adventure. Okay. Naive little boy. But where was Lily taken? Couldn't be Poe Town. Kitty was there the whole time. Hmm. So you're not quite as dumb as you are naive. It'll be Aether Paradise. Aether Paradise? Hmm. I knew they had to be connected. Oh, the Skullmobile! Aether Paradise's harbor. We made it this far without running into trouble. But I don't like how quiet it is. You two, stay alert. But why would Lily be here at Aether Paradise? She just will be. Oh, well, this guy. Fine, so what are we to do? Let's look for her. We're not gonna ask around. I guess we take the elevator. You guess? And we're following this guy? He doesn't have a plan. We're like 10. Like, that's the best we can do, okay? Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Do we have to, like, sneak? Oh, well, she saw me. So... Okay, I guess she can take us back if we want. Let's all save real quick. Alright. So are we gonna... Yeah, we're gonna have... Whoa, you are very close to my face. So we're gonna have to battle a bunch of the Aether Foundation people now. I knew they had to be related. I'm wondering if Lusamine is actually, like, the ultimate leader of both organizations. Doug Trio, huh? Gross. It's icky. But it's okay, because now it's dead. <laughs> it's just like a trail of it on Eddie Murphy's hoof. What does this mean? This means you lost. That's what it means. Okay, bye. Uh, I think I'm going to put Mermaid Man in first position, because... He hasn't been fighting too much recently, so we'll let him let him shine for a little bit. Where are my compadres? Hey, sneak attack! Where did they go? They're, are they just like, well, we'll stay here and you go fight everyone. As usual. <laughs> Aether Foundation employee. These people don't get names. Puppy. Would you like to get wrecked? I think you would. Luminian. Is that a fish? Oh, it's a fish! Well. Don't really have much choice then. Hey. None of that. None of that. I have pulled the moon into inside this building. All right. Getting close to 50. All right, well, thanks for your money. Hey, can I have your money too? Give me all your lunch money. <laughs> Man, these guys are about as effective as uh, Team Skull is. Which is not very. Shell gone. That's kind of surprising. Hmm. 
not sure what type that is, actually. Well, water doesn't seem to work, so we'll use Moon Blast. Well, there we go. Goodbye. Trumbeak. I just love this animation for this move. So good. Any Murphy leveling? It'd be nice if you guys would learn some, some moves here. Some new moves. I'm just saying. I would appreciate it. Oh, there's Gladian. He's just, like, standing in the elevator like nobody's really stopping him or addressing the issue. Goodbye, Parasect. <laughs> Did he only have one Pokemon? No, he has two. The Brava. I think that's Bug, isn't it? Yeah. Thought so. Well, burn it. I might actually put Miss Sass out front because she re it's not effective. Oh, is it ground? Oh, is it ground dragon? It might be. There, there are so many Pokemon now, it's kind of hard to remember their exact typing. Poison, poison. Uh, I was hoping it would poison so I can then pull out a Venishock, but... Oh no! That's not good. Miss Sass, I really needed you to, to not die, actually. All right, Khaleesi. I guess I could have used Eddie Murphy to ignore the sandstorm. Might have been a good idea, but oh well. Yes, that level. Ooh, Leaf Storm. That sounds interesting. What is this? Whoa. Let's see. Razor Leaf, I might get rid of. Cause it's... Yeah, we'll get rid of Razor Leaf. Leaf Storm was, like, pretty powerful. Drift Blim. Alright. Yikes. Crunch. Nice. Alright. I love how none of them have, like, sounded an alarm. To alert everyone to our presence. Is there anything in here? Ooh, there's something. A rare candy. I really don't need those right now. I'm definitely good on levels. But, um... Just sort of been hoarding them, really. Just in case I get to a point where I need to use them, but... As of now, I don't really. I would say I have, like, ten, probably. Primate. Mermaid Man, you don't have to be worried about battling well. You're fine. See, look, you just wrecked whatever that is. That pig face thing with arms. Alright. I don't want to miss anyone in here, like any battles, so... That's kind of why I'm, like, looking around. Ooh. Wow, really not what I wanted. TM. I'll take a TM. Haha! <laughs> Toxic. Well... I mean, it's good to have the TM, I guess. But, uh, I think I like Miss Sass's other attacks better. Okay, did we fight everyone and get everything? I think we did. Well, glad to see you guys lounging around in the elevator. Lazy. Hmm, just like I thought. What were you doing there? 
Looks like outsiders can't use the main elevator to reach the lower levels. I was afraid this might happen, but still, what a pain. We don't have any choice. We'll have to go up. Okay, so they let outsiders go up, but not down. Okay. We're not going to question it. It's Faba. I, Faba, am the Aether Brand Chief. The only one in the world I'm irreplaceable. And here you come back, uninvited. Like, you don't know why. Wait, is that his dad? That, that's not his dad. You of all people should know everything that happens in the Aether Foundation. Isn't that right, High and Mighty Branch Chief? <laughs> Look at you. Living out in the world hasn't been kind, has it? But I'm still not telling you anything. And you of all people should understand why, Gladian. Hey, you know why being a trainer is so great? Because when you're battling, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult. Everyone's equal in Pokemon battle. Oh ho, is that right? Is that what you think? So you wish to battle me, Branch Chief Faba? The man who is called Aether Paradise's last line of defense is to battle a mere child. As you will. What? You scared? You should be scared. Yeah, you fondle your beard. Weirdo. Hypno. That's all you have? Really? I mean, it is 39, but still. Oh, well, that's gonna be annoying. Mermaid man, if you could just wake up so I don't have to use an item on you, that'd be great. Oh, that's your game. Locked in a nightmare, huh? Good job, mermaid man. Say no to that nightmare. Oh, come on. You got this. You got this. It's fine. Haha. -ha. <laughs> How can this be? How could this child? Oh, look at you. And Faba's real strong, too. No, he's not. So, as I said, Faba, you of all people know what I'm here for. Indeed. The world truly hasn't been kind to you, has it? Look how hard it has made you. If you're looking for Cosmog, I suppose it might be downstairs. Downstairs? Oh yeah, Miss Wick did say there was another level further down, didn't she? What do you do down there? Well, if you must know, I've heard experiments are held down there. Experiments aiming to tear the very boundaries of the world apart. We're in a bit of a hurry, Faba. A lift would be nice. Why not? This is an act of kindness I can do for you thanks to my position as branch chief. What? What? Kita, how? If you're ready, let's head down. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go. He did something. He like rigged the elevator and we're gonna die or something. Everything looks the same. Guess it's only been two years though. Whoa, it's like a secret hideout. How? Stop. Don't get too excited, How. Though I guess it's better than freezing from fear or nerves. So where do we go now? There are two labs up ahead. I'll check the first, Secret Lab A. <laughs> you two check out Secret Lab B. Okay. Why do you get the first one, and why do you know all of this? Just focus, Hal. Think you can do that? You can't trust Faba. I'm sure he's already told half the Foundation about us. You didn't even answer my question. 
I know what it's got to be, nerves, huh? I reckon that you're more afraid to be here than either one of us, huh? Here, you take this. What? Okay. Lily must be scared right now. Let's buckle down and do this. Okay. They went and named their secret lab secret A and B. This place is bad news. More like they're just stupid. I think that's... Hello. Are you... Intruder spotted. We'll protect our secret labs. Okay. <laughs> Aether Foundation employee. She looks like Lady Arkham from Telltale's Batman. Muck just gave me the finger. Did you see that? He has given me the finger. Well, now he's dead. Ooh, Mermaid Man. Nice job. Stone Edge. That sounds interesting. Ooh. Hmm. Yep. I guess we'll forget Rock Tomb for that. Fortunately, it only has five. <sighs> but am I going to fight all of you, or are you going to run away? Okay. One at a time, then. Everyone, step right up. Battle the 11-year-old. Get your pride wounded. Oh, sturdy. Is it burned? Man, that would have been great. You're fine, mermaid man. You're fine, see? Alright. And now you're gonna fight me? Alright. Oh, Porygon too. That's kind of surprising. I mean, not really, but... I haven't seen one of them yet. Trace. Come on, Mermaid Man. Good job. Ooh, that critical. That critical, though. Storm. Alright, gimme... Gimme Nebby. All I can tell you is that Cosmog is the key. It's the tool needed to open the Ultra Wormhole. But I'm no good at battling, so I'm outta, so I'm outta here. Yeah, I can see that. Nice try, though. Okay, yeah, that way. The cr All right. Hey, Gladian. I'm not... Oh, it's not here? I was like an ornament to my mother, wearing whatever she told me to wear, acting however she wanted me to act. Null was crafted just as carefully. It was made just to battle the beasts. In this room, right there. Uh, so I can't go in there? Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for giving me that little bit of info. Oh, too bad I can't, uh, can't call Stoutland. Ooh, what's in here? What are you kids doing in here? Don't touch anything with your grimy hands. This research is our life. I don't care if you're a kid or what. I'll send you flying if you threaten it. Okay. Well, <laughs> you're gonna get a beat down. I'm a choke and vanillish? Interesting pair. Alright. Mermaid Man. Sorry, Raichu, but. I gotta go out with a bang if I can. Alright, well, Machoke's dead, so. Good job, Hal. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sorry, how? <laughs> She's like, she doesn't even care. I may be an expert at studying Pokemon, but I'm no expert when it comes to battling them. But the guys in Lab A next door, they're pretty experienced with battles. After all, they spent so long researching that uncontrollable Pokemon. Hey, focus people, where are Lily and Cosmog? We may have lost, but that doesn't mean we're gonna help you. I'm not telling you anything. She's not here, is she? Even you can see that. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Alright, what's in here? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, that's what I'm doing. Oh look, a book that's sticking out of the shelf. Aether Report, Ultra Wormholes. Beyond the Ultra Wormholes that Professor Moan discovered lies a different dimension. By investigating the changes in mass there, we can predict the existence of Pokemon-like life. We have dubbed them Ultra Beasts for now. Well, that's a thing. Cosmog is hypothesized to be a type of Ultra Beast that hails from another dimension. Dimension that we have named Ultra Space. Creative. When placed under sufficient stress, it reveals the power to create and open Ultra Wormholes in order to escape from its suffering. We are now working on a device that will allow us to manipulate the Ultra Wormholes created when Cosmog is subjected to extreme stress. Well, that's terrible. Wait, so Cosmog might be an Ultra Beast? We should tell Gladian about this. Okay, he probably already knows. Well... Did you find anything? We learned a bit about Cosmog. Like, it might be an Ultra Beast or whatever. And if you stress it a lot, it can create Ultra Wormholes. Maybe to run away or something? If you stress it. If you hurt it. Is that what you mean? Was that why she ran away with it? But we didn't find any sign of it down here. Yeah, Faba probably knew this would be a dead end. Darn, did he outsmart us? Well, we were stupid enough to take his help. Gladian never really explains anything. Probably thinks it makes him look cool. Should we go after him? We all got into this together. Might as well see it to the end. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Leave Lily here? I mean, not that I'm not tempted, but still. Alright, I'm gonna go in here since he's not guarding the door anymore. All right. Suspicious looking deleted files. Yeah, I'm gonna look at them. File two. BKP development record two. Anti UB fighting life form. B for beast. K for killer. The president has approved the prod the proposed budget for this development project, so it will be implemented. Okay. Beast kill something and project maybe. Materials for development have been collected from the Canalave Library in the Sinnoh region. Plans are being drawn up for the specifications of the type change program known as the RKS system. Work is underway on designing the specifications of special memories for said system. Oh my gosh, how many files are there? Alright, file 7. Collection of cells of all types for genetic modeling has been completed. Blueprints for the skeletal structure have been approved and incubation of the bioframe is underway. Dummy test of the RKS system program has been completed. Type has been successfully altered with all 18 special memories. The transplantation of the RKS system program to the model is underway. The BK's official name has been set as Type Full. So does that mean that the one that he has is like rejected? That's why it's called Type Null? Production of three models has been completed. They are identified as serial number 01, serial number 02, and serial number 03. All three models rejected the RKS system upon initializing during testing. Shortly after these initialization errors, all three models of type full went berserk. Hmm. Models have been fitted with control masks to mitigate the effects of their rejection of the RKS system. Due to the implementation of these control masks, our RKS system initiation tests have failed. All three models of type full are to be cryogenically frozen for the rest of eternity. Good lord. The name of these models has been changed from type full to type null. Okay, that makes sense. So they said there's three, so that means there's two others, right? So I wonder where they are. There's something loaded on the screen. Yes, let's look at it. Introduction? This is the blog of F, a branch chief working in the Alola region. Are you interested in success to your readers? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is F and I'm an elite self-made man. Is that Faba? Here on my blog, I will show you the way to succeed. Keep Beach City weird. Okay. Currently, I'm working on the development of a special sort of ball, which I took over from my predecessor in parallel with another project. 
Seeing how well I multitask impresses my subordinates and increases their motivation. Showing how skillful you are is a kind of on-the-job training for your underlings. Yeah, I think this is Faba talking about how great he is. I once ventured to undertake a project without notifying my superior. I developed a device to restrain a dangerous life form in case it became necessary to do so. I had it made for hedging risks to protect myself, but for better or worse, it was made public. It is always essential to consider the risks before one takes action. Okay. My superior family stole the results of our research and ran off. However, I have chosen to never blow this issue out of proportion. I will only be reprimanded for my own mistakes, and surely my superior is also displeased with the action of her family as well. When necessary, one must always be prepared to massage the truth to protect one's own position. It is not an exaggeration to say that this skill is vital for success. Hmm. I think we're going to have to find out more in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, cheer support, and subscribe if you haven't. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.